So today is October 23rd, 2020, and two days ago, I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. Never had this before, weird, very weird. Um, but basically, if you look at my facial motor skills, uh, this is me lifting both eyebrows up, flaring nostrils, closing eyes, smiling, absolutely nuts. The entire left side of my face has gone paralyzed. Bell's palsy is acute onset, and by that I mean within 24 hours, complete one-sided facial paralysis. Most of us agree that it's due to a virus which attacks the facial nerve inside the temporal bone portion of the skull, causes swelling of the nerve, which cuts off more blood supply. Eventually the nerve gives out and becomes paralyzed. I was firing on all cylinders when it happened. I had a TV show, I was on camera every single day doing virtual cooking classes and all sorts of things. And all of a sudden it was like, you can't, you can't smile, you can't express yourself, you're talking funny. It definitely, I kind of just hit a wall and had to put everything on hold and rethink how I did everything. I told him that 85% chance his face will come back 100% within a month. But it's that group that don't get better, don't show facial movement by three months that we can offer additional treatment. It was great to actually come across and find Dr. Leonetti and seeing how passionate he was about it and how much he's really researched it and done it made me a lot more confident. This surgery is not based upon taking bone off of the swollen nerve. That's decompression. It's based on electrical stimulation. And what that means is the surgical procedure takes an hour to 90 minutes. The patients go home the same day. They're only off work for a week to 10 days. So today is January 23rd. I had my surgery on January 21st. I'm doing great. I'm moving around. So Dr. Leonetti told me that uh, about one month after the surgery, I'd start to notice some movement here in, in this area. And um, the crazy thing was two days after the surgery, I had my first twitch which was monumental because uh, it let me know that everything was worth it. The treatment plan for patients with Bell's palsy is not just the surgery. Uh, the facial retraining physical therapy is as important as the surgery. You need to have a therapist with specialty training in that area. We're fortunate enough to have Lisa Berkman here. Lisa's been unbelievable. I've seen huge improvements in comfort and range of motion from working with her. At this point, he's moving all of the five peripheral branches of the face. He looks perfectly symmetric at rest. The facial nerve is still recovering. It can recover for up to 18 months from the surgery. A simple smile for me is important because um, I wasn't able to smile at my kids. I wasn't able to just smile at someone for doing a good job at work. I've gotten back in front of groups of people. It just felt good to feel like me again. It was, it was liberating. The quality of life issue, the confidence, it's huge. It's not just the surgery and bringing back the anatomy. It's bringing back the person to, to what they used to be before the facial paralysis occurred. I mean, Dr. Leonetti took me in a situation that I thought was hopeless, and he gave hope and he said he was going to do something and he did it. In the six months it's been since my surgery, I mean, it's huge results. I couldn't be happier with him. 